first is that as a teacher, you're learning as well, and you're modeling learning behaviors. Maker education is less about telling students what to do and more about helping them finding creative solutions to their challenges, asking high quality questions. And, and it's really essential to engage students in this process of finding solutions, asking questions, finding answers to those questions and engage in this deep learning process. Since the teacher transforms from the person who knows everything and, and gives every answer uh, to a person who actually asks for questions, sometimes doesn't know the answer, teachers need to learn how to feel comfortable with uncertainty and with this new role as facilitators where sometimes they don't know the answers, but they can show students how to find the answers, model this behavior of uh, finding answers, researching questions, uh, etc. Another very important practical principle is that exploring and inquiry is our very important approaches in this in this learning environment. So, you know, try to provide opportunity for op open-ended exploration. Think less about the final products that students create as the main thing in a maker education environment and more about the process they are going through. So allow more time for experimentation, playing with the materials and try to value the process. Sometimes students don't get a, an amazing final project, but their process might be very rich, might be very important. So value the process more than the product. Another important principle is that we have to encourage students to collaborate and work as a team instead of competing with each other. So encourage students to be helpful to one another, learn from peers, uh, look around the class and learning from other groups uh, and ask other groups questions, learning how they solve challenges. And so this idea of students circulating in the classroom, learning from each other, that's very important, of course, rather than competing with each other for you know who can solve a, a challenge faster. It's also really, really important to validate everyone's contributions. Everyone's voices should be heard and should be made, uh, should be taken into consideration. So groups should be able to work at their own pace uh, within you know the overall time frame, and you as a teacher should monitor group work give clarifying instructions, but also monitor the work to make sure that everybody's voices are heard, respected and taken into consideration, uh, because this equity aspect is really, really important in maker education environments. Another important thing that you can do as a teacher is to give feedback and ask follow up questions during the work on the product. So this will allow students to improve, to fix, to reinvent what you're doing. Uh, and remember that errors are not necessarily a problem. They actually provide an opportunity for reflection and for learning. But when you feel that frustration is more than students can handle, maybe it's time to intervene a little bit more and work together to understand the challenge and why the plan is not going as initially uh, planned and what can be done to overcome it. Try to replace the, this is not possible, uh, with how can we make it possible? And try to monitor the level of frustration of students. There is a level of frustration that is productive because it generates you know, uh, interesting solutions, interesting work, but there is a level of frustration that is improductive and is just too much. And when you see that happen, try to uh, intervene more and help students a little bit more. And finally, a nice, relaxed environment is a really important factor for maker education. The classroom might become messy, but notice that if everybody is engaged and doing interesting work, the mess might actually be okay. One last and very important thing is that it's not just about people being busy. If students are making and not reflecting on what they are doing and not thinking about their constructions and their projects, uh, you might be missing a very important learning opportunity. So make sure that reflection is part of the process that 
children are doing hands-on work, but also heads in work, that they're going through the cycles of building and reflection and learning.